Okay, class, I'm going to start you off here with how to solve the cargo area problem. This one looks pretty intense here, I think. Uh, you're given a problem where you're asked to find the volume of a combined uh, of a combined set of rectangular solids. Right, the question gave you um, the cubic, gave you the dimensions for a cargo area, and you had to find the volume of it. Well, if you look at it carefully, you probably notice that the cargo area that you're asked to find the volume of is made up of two rectangular solids. How do I know what a rectangular solid is? If you go back to your FCAT reference sheet, okay, your FCAT reference sheet has a bunch of formulas in it. Right there, uh, towards the middle of the front page there, there's something called a rectangular solid. Right? It's like a brick, right? It's like a rectangle that's been extended out. The volume, or the space taken up by that rectangular solid, is its length times width times height. I said again, length times width times height. So we're dealing with rectangular solids. So we've got to find the length, width, and height for each of these rectangular solids that the cargo area is made up of. This cargo area is made up of two rectangular solids. Solid A, so I'll go ahead and draw a line right down where the one solid would be, would be joined here. Solid A has dimensions of, of a, it has a, a length of eight, Right. So here's its length of eight feet, and then its width is four feet, and its height is also four feet. It's also four feet. Losing my pointer here. So eight by four by four for solid A. Over here is the other part. This is solid solid B, rectangular solid B. It has a length of eight feet, a width of twelve feet, and a height of five and then four more, which is nine feet. See that? So it's eight by 12 by nine feet. So I've got the dimensions. I've got the length, width, and height for each of the two solid figures, the rectangular solids that are being made up in this cargo area. And I just gotta go in and do some calculating here. Okay, the, the FCAT reference sheet said I do length times width times height to find the volume of a rectangular solid. Okay, well that means that solid A would have 128 cubic feet. 128 cubic feet as its volume. Okay, then solid B, we said it had dimensions of 8 by 12 by 9. 8 by 12 by 9, so that would be 164 cubic feet. Okay, so we just do length times width times height. Length times width times height to find the volume of the rectangular solid. I've got I've got the two rectangular solid volumes. All that's left to do, add them up. Add the two volumes together and you will have your answer.